Welcome to Las Chicas del Pod. On this podcast, we get together every week, si Dios quiere, and talk to you, our besties, about anything that comes to mind, any topics that you might bring to us, and just anything we really want to talk about. Yeah. My name is Samantha, a.k.a. Mexican chun and, and I'm Amy D. Woo! <laughs> we said we both got our girls out today. I said spring <laughs> is here. Period. April is here. And it's April Fools, but we don't have any jokes to give you guys. No, we don't. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but it's going to be a fun episode today. Yeah. I feel good about it. We actually went live on Amy's TikTok and we were like at a blank. Like, what do we talk about this week? Like, we're feeling uninspired in the topic area. Yes. Right. And we actually thought to do a girl talk, but we're like, I must have a lot about girl talk. Like, what is, what the, what's the conversation going to be, right? And I think there's a lot of things that we could touch on in girl talk. Yeah, I think so, too. But I was kind of telling Sam that in the morning, I was almost feeling like, gracias a Dios, not there's not a lot of major events happening in our lives like it's just like everyday life type of thing yeah. right now yeah so like we don't have any drama we don't have anything negative happening or anything extremely positive i guess you can say to where we can be like let's discuss this was well, como i posted a, like a photo dump on my instagram and my caption was the t is there is no t yeah, yeah. that's the t there's yeah. no t <laughs> and we love i mean i honestly love that for me yeah and i love that for us because when there's just too much happening it's it's chaotic and it's overwhelming and sometimes. it's very overwhelming yeah. so i feel like it's it, it's a good time so we just were trying to figure out what to talk about what to discuss and i was like you know what let's go on live because people always have questions you guys always want to know things and i feel like if we sit in this forum and can actually dig deep and go into different things then we can really go into the topics you guys want us to talk about instead of just you know it being like a super quick live video where we get ready which those are super fun too i was telling sam that we should maybe do one like once a week where we just get ready and like cotorreamos yeah i love to cotorrear and and it's funny because you guys will ask like the funny questions and then obviously like our reaction is genuine yeah <laughs> and so i like it because it's like a little less you know there's no editing involved uh -oh. we just hang out right um but yeah one of the things that someone did bring up was personal hygiene which i also posted on my story this week about a tongue scraper and i it was a tweet that someone had tweeted that was like oh um let me know if you know what this is because if you don't like I, I get to find out who i need to block right and for me like i wasn't i wasn't on to the tongue scraper i would say until like maybe like 2020 like i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i've always like brushed my tongue with my toothbrush but i didn't know there was such thing as a tongue scraper until like three years ago maybe but ever since i did find out I be scraping that tongue. Yeah, you've been using it. Yeah, getting rid of them toxins. He, he said, "Not that you guys. He, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry if this kills your game a little bit because you start noticing things, right? Because when you're not aware, I won't make you guys aware of something. But when people have like white coating on their tongue, it's gross. Son germenes. It's like all the stuff that it's like halitosis vibes, or I don't know. It's like <laughs> you have like a lot of germs and stuff in your mouth yeah and so si tu ves al vato the guy you you're crushing on and that tongue look a little white i would question it dude not <laughs> even just the tongue but the teeth the teeth like first of all okay obviously we all eat yes, right yes. and when you eat stuff gets stuck in your teeth and when i was younger i used to think it was very embarrassing when somebody would be like oh you have a little black dot on your tooth but now i appreciate it because let me know don't be don't be having me look like a fool out there in public number one and number two i have encountered people who eat and after eating don't take the time to remove food between their teeth and then they're just talking and having conversations and it just becomes one of those things where it's like i don't really want to look at the food in your teeth es que también and you got to be cognizant aka aware 
that sometimes depending on your teeth and like kind of like how they are, food will get caught in there regardless. So si tú sabes que on this tooth, some food always gets stuck in there, do not hesitate to always check. I just feel like people don't care because you know that that shit happens, I but that's know. not something you look at. I don't know. I mean, I, I do tell people. Most of us women care. There's a lot of men that don't. And the crazy part is, I know we have male listeners. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put y'all, I'm going to put y'all on. <laughs> but when a man takes care of his hygiene, Woo. It puts him Ooh. like it adds at least two points. To I your, for sure put you on a pedestal right yeah, away. It, it adds at least two <laughs> points to your attraction level because a lot of men are so muy lazy. Like they're very lazy. Yeah. They don't want to do too much. Like les vale madre, you know. And so when a man has this his hygiene on point, that shit is a turn on. Red flag that I've definitely ignored before. Yeah, like red flag that and I've back definitely in the day, been right? like uh okay like all right and as you get to know people and as you get to live or not even live with them but even encounter them every single day you Mm -hmm. get to see different things that they do how they take care of themselves or how they lack that hygiene and you're like wait actually that's kind of gross no pues sí pero al principio like you don't you don't notice sometimes but for me, something big. Okay, let's talk about X, right? Let's Ugh. talk about X. So for me, something that, um, like, hygiene-wise yeah. and ick hygiene-wise is las uñas. Yes! That's, like, <laughs> and your toes. The base level. Toes, too. Toe, but, like, toes and nails. But toes, you don't see all the time. Okay, I'm going to be really graphic right now. Mm-hmm. And it's it was it's kind of disgusting. Oh, shit. What is First it? time I saw this man's toes. Toes. Uh-huh. The big toe was this fucking long. Ay, it was no. fucking disgusting. Como His ca- excuse was us basketball players don't care about our toes. That's a fucking lie, bruh. That's a fucking lie because way later on in time, I did some research and I asked questions and I'm like, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> um... <laughs> do you clip your nails yeah i just did it like literally before we met up oh do you clip your toes yeah like and i go to the salon at least like twice a year okay and this man plays basketball too so i'm like okay cool so it's not just because you play basketball you don't take care of your feet you're just fucking disgusting how do your shoes fit you at that point (laughs) (laughs) and that shit hits the front and it hurts it hurts it's luego, disgusting. You could even get like an ingrown like that, no? Like an ingrown toenail. I'm sure you can. So this much man pressure. Never went to a nail salon. This man started to clip his toes and his actual nails because he realized that that was something I looked at. That was something that I paid attention to. And so he started doing that. But yeah, you're right. Most of the time, we don't look at men's toes because they don't have their toes out there Mm -hmm. but i'm gonna see your toes eventually fool like i'm gonna see your toes eventually and if they're not clipped if they're not clean that is disgusting that's a turn off it's a turn off for sure like how how can i want to do Certain anything things. to you why would i sloppy toppy <laughs> why would i do anything when that toe you would want me with your toes like that like that just <laughs> you're like you're like if i was getting the mood you look down I'm you're just, like oh shit. i turned off <laughs> like little things like that turn me off because no, i'm like pues a cualquiera. No. O sea. Aparentemente no, because some women are digmatized literally and they don't give a fuck what your toes look like but they're willing to do whatever it is that they that you want and them the, to do so you were the first woman he encountered that had a problem with the toe looking like, <laughs> like a gavilan <laughs> bro <laughs> because i think i'd have a problem with it too <laughs> i don't know what kind of women he's been dating before this pues, quien sabe. i have no idea they I took never out their contacts them. they're like <laughs> i never saw them i never met them but i don't care how attractive you think you are your personal hygiene is what's gonna it's big there it's big and what's crazy is that this same man was the one with the food and the teeth and i'd be like you don't want to take the food out of you know oh your teeth and stuff God. like mm-hmm. oh yeah but okay 
Mm-hmm. Let me just venture out to say, though, that let's just say, you know, he didn't take care of the toe situation until <laughs> you had a problem with it. Right. Uh huh. So what does that tell you about how much he cares about himself? Yeah. If the only reason you made that change was to appease another person. Right. That's big. It's huge. It's like psychological. But it's not something. OK, so later on with time, I think I realized, right, because in hygiene overall this man had yes he would shower right like he would shower every single day he'd go to the gym and he'd shower okay but overall no hygiene and so of course that created something within my ph that made me react oh shit and my body react and it was one of those things where it's like is there something wrong with me but when i actually started to think about and pay attention to the fact that this man yeah he was cleaning but he wasn't washing and he wasn't being he just wasn't clean yeah. when i realized that i was like fuck amy like are you good what were you doing you know like i started to question my own Be- sanity because i feel like <laughs> al principio you got the rose colored glasses on yeah and so mm-hmm. like you know the the rest of his actions were probably like very attractive to you like he was probably pursuing you he was probably doing the right things and like feeding your ego with like compliments and stuff and so sometimes when you're in that zone you're just like ah mira está rara la uña but hey (laughs) yeah i mean honestly this was a man that overall yeah he had a a a lot of really good attributes to himself but when you really dug deep Mm. and you really like paid attention to how he moved and what he wasn't doing for himself Mm -hmm. you really realized what he lacked Mm -hmm. and he seemed like a very confident man but again the more i got to know him the more i realized that this man like has so much more that's missing and if we keep going in the hygiene aspect of things like his room was a complete mess all the time Mm -hmm. like that's just how he lived and he was okay with that and the house was a complete mess and the car wasn't because the dad would wash it you know so you really start to pay attention to the whole picture and you're like whoa like if this is how you live how is your mind how is your soul how is your heart how are you internally like when you don't take care of things externally it tells me how everything is internally And it took me some time to realize this and to see it for what it was, because I think also when you love people like you try to help in whichever way that you can. Mm -hmm. If there is one thing I'm going to do with any man I've ever encountered is upgrade them. I have I always have. I will show you whatever I know. I will tell you whatever I know. I will try to help you and best believe that wherever you go after you've encountered me, you're going to be a much better person yeah. in whichever way, right? And that is one of those things like toe clipping. I don't know if 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 this man is went back to not clipping his toes anymore. I do not care. Comment but down below. I'm just the kidding. next person like Hopefully they don't gotta hopefully see. They, they don't care. gotta see what you saw, or it, one, or hopefully <laughs> they care enough to also point it out. Because again, men will, or just you know, we're talking hygiene. I know, but for the most part, when you make a man believe that like it gets no better than them, they really feel that, and that's something that us women will give to a man because we're lacking within ourselves. And so we just want to make them feel so important instead of making ourselves feel important. Right. Like putting them on a pedestal. Right. Without them earning that pedestal treatment. Right. Because, you know, that's bare minimum to clip your toenails. Yes. (laughs) It is bare minimum to clip your toenails, bro. It is bare minimum to clip your nails, your toes. Like you're about to do things with those hands. You're about to even if you're not about you might be doing things with your toes. I'm just saying like. I just think I'm just of it, leave it at that. like That's- like let's say que te invitan a una cita and and you're like oh yeah like let's go have sushi and you guys are gonna go have sushi and you're like sitting across from the table and you guys are talking and he's talking with his hands and you see that dirt under the nail can you scrub it Ick. like can you just like scrub the dirt off your na- underneath can your you nails? cut your nails clip your nails you don't need long nails 
No, but even sometimes they won't be too long, but there'll still be you'll still see oh, like, like that dirt? that dirt there. And it's like comprate el cepillito ese de la 99, the nail brush. Yeah. Before going on a date because I feel like guys no se maquillan, o sea, they shower, they do their hair, um, you know, put on deodorant, whatever, cologne, and they're out the door. Us like we literally wash, we might have to wash our hair, we might have to dry it. We put on makeup. We obviously do the hygiene stuff, too. And then we get dressed and then we go on the date. Like you guys have such a smaller like type of to do list. Yeah. To do list or a smaller routine that it's like just make sure it's on point. I will say this. The men that care. Whew, the men that care. Yeah, I know about their hygiene and about themselves. These men are going to floss. They're going to tongue scrape. They are going to show up <laughs> and they are going to show up shaved and they are going to have a fresh cut. They are going to smell good. They oh, are going to yeah. have their skin on point. Like, yeah, ooh, at that point, I've, I've melted already. Like, exactly. I just want to be on you. Like, you know what, what you mean? mean? Like, you, what you mean? You, you look exfoliate. good. You smell good. <laughs> like, oh, you look good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's the same thing i'm sure for a woman like when we do that for ourselves and the man see us like they're like oh like she takes care of herself and it's so crazy how going back you know to what i was talking about at first first impression you may look at the man and it may seem as if they are taking care of themselves in that way Mm -hmm. but you get to know them a little bit deeper and their toes aren't clipped Mm -hmm. they're not taking care of their teeth their room is a mess, their house is a mess, their cars are, are a mess. Whatever the situation is, the more time you spend with someone, you really get, get to know to them. Know them yeah. And you really get to see who they truly are. Yeah. No, and I feel like even the whole thing with like having long hair as a man and stuff, like I'm not really into it like that. Me either. Right. <laughs> but if you have to grow your hair out, like the bare minimum is to have it nice like to fucking have your lineup done have everything done i like a beard but i'm not gonna say oh i like a sasquatch type of beard no i like that beard lined up like it has to look good you have to smell good you have to because i've seen some ew i saw some stuff on tic- hablar de eso, pero <laughs> something about the beard like touching someone's face and then like their face breaking out porque no se la lavan I la pinche i don't i'm not into beards i'm into it but pues limpio yeah Ugh. i mean <gasps> yeah it's it's gross right i mean it's just one of those things where hygiene personal hygiene and again you start with the mouth why do you start with the mouth because the so mouth is germs. everywhere and so many <laughs> germs. And the mouth is everywhere and the mouth is everywhere yeah i mean if you are going to be physical if you're going to be physical with someone where do you start you automatically go down there or what you're going to start with the kiss you're going to start kissing people you're going to do different things that yeah. eventually it'll get to places where it's like if your mouth isn't first you're going to talk first- and if your breath stink <laughs> <laughs> first you're gonna talk you're right first you're gonna talk yeah yeah i mean and we were gonna talk about like other hygiene tips that we have um for me i went like aluminum and um aluminum free on my deodorant mm-hmm. and that process was very interesting because there was a couple times where like my armpits were stanking because oh, really? yeah because you have to find the right ones you know and they could be like the priciest ones but they could not work with your body and sometimes mm. you have to be personally aware enough to where you figure it out right and so i tried a couple ones no me gustaba, and i was like oh like i might have to go back to aluminum But I ended up going with like the Arm and Hammer like lavender one. I I recommend it. Not sponsored at all. Um, So it's something that you have to be aware of is your bodily odor. Your body odor. Your body odor. You're right. B.O. Your body odor. Okay, I have a question since we're talking. And and I obviously we're going to get into the women as well. But do you like hairy men? Like in in their body? Hairy everywhere. Yeah, like they're hairy men. I mean, I've encountered hairy men. Do I prefer it? Probably Like, is there not. anything specifically that you may want them to do more than somebody who's not as hairy? I mean, if they have, like, a super, like, hairy, like, body, like, do a little something. I'm not saying, like, 
naked mole rat either yeah because i feel like that's kind of weird i mean i don't know it, i might you know i'm open right now like <laughs> for a naked mole rat baby right but <laughs> but like like too hairy como que está weird okay <laughs> what about you why no, yeah i mean I, I i i was just thinking because obviously as women right like we're supposed to and i say supposed to like this because there's a lot of air women quotations who are very much like I don't want to shave. I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So again, like it's all about preference and what you want to do with your body, but also what you want others to do with themselves. Right. <laughs> the way that Amy's looking at me <laughs> because it's just, you know, like I am somebody I'm not, I'm not that hairy. I've never yeah. been that hairy, but I've also have worked on being hairless <laughs> you've gotten laser i have gotten laser treatments yeah, yeah. to remove my hair i have gotten hair laser removal that doesn't mean i have i don't have one two three four five follicles and shit yeah like i definitely like hair grows right but i like to maintain myself clean and free of hair because that's just what i'm attracted to within myself and so I've never encountered a super duper duper hairy man to the point where they're like hairy on their back and hairy just like everywhere. I've never accounted that. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm also not attracted to that personally. But I think overall when it comes to hair, especially in the private areas, for men at least, for me, it's like if you're not at least trimming something yeah, down do some there. Yeah, some landscaping. I feel th that that's also a lack of hygiene for sure okay yeah i just wanted to make sure and i wasn't it, the only one and you one. know how like earlier you were describing like if someone's like a little bit fodongo in the sense of like oh like you don't take care of like the base level i feel like sometimes like people will fake the base level like you'll hop in the shower and not really scrub and yeah. do all that right and so it's almost like you don't bathe at that point because because you just let the water hit yeah, you. you let the water hit you you come out and you're like well, let's go let's do this thing right so i don't know I, or I or like i've encountered people that don't wash their legs and I'm like, get down there and wash your legs, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> how, how are you just going to wash this part? But and you just no. like, get down there and wash your toes, wash yeah. your feet, like wash yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I, feel that. I know I'm like out here talking and you guys are going to think the bar is this low. It's really not. You it's know, it's not. It's just sometimes it's just one of those things that you pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And then after the fact, you're like, wait, oh, shit, you really didn't did like do this before you skip that or step. like you skip that step mm -hmm. but like continuously <laughs> repeatedly like every yeah, day like, like you never get around lot. to it like shit i don't know <laughs> but you know dude so we're talking about men's hygiene if men took care of their skin Woo! when men take care of their skin oh my you guys don't know the difference men can be it makes. so a lot of men can be so much more attractive if they just took care if of they just themselves. tried a little better if they just took care of themselves and it it, it like really like baffles me because you don't got to go through the contour and the highlight yeah you just gotta fucking like scrub exfoliate once a week put a little serum on at night like it's not a lot i would honestly like you know god willing when i meet somebody again that they do that for themselves because it it'll be something for me to look at where i'm like wow just look at your skin glistening yeah. in the sun like why I've can't i have that, that experience yeah. back i've also done that where it's like i've met somebody and they didn't really like put and you SPF, try to put them on spf on their skin yeah. and it's like i'm trying to put you on bro for you I hope I've tried to, you know, they, but they do it. They honestly, muchas veces they won't. Muchas continue. veces no, but I have met someone that, you know, did it and continued. Continued. And oh, that's he, good. good he for him. He continued to do it. And I was like, yeah, your skin's looking good. Okay. Yeah, good for you him. Know? So you know? definitely good for him because do it for you. At, yeah. Whatever hygiene <laughs> stuff you do, do it for you. And then it's everybody else because Imaginate, you don't want to freaking have the fame that you go somewhere and it's like, oh, it's la pestosa, o sea, la apestoso. Like, 
you want people to be able to you want to be able to socialize and not be like pointed out as something negative like that you know yeah dude if there is one thing i take pride in is in smelling good like i love perfume i literally just bought a new one that it smells so good it's smoking but I will literally spray it right after the shower. I'll go to bed with perfume on. Like if I put on my jewelry, put on my clothes, but forgot the perfume, I feel like my outfit is not complete. Yeah. I'm like, how am I walking out without perfume on? It seals the... Yeah. yeah. Even yesterday, like I got complimented uh, for another perfume that I was wearing and I was like... It just makes me feel lavish. Thank you. You know, like and and it adds to people's day. Like no one less fail. Like just yeah. imagine you're you're at work or wherever you're at. You're at the store and like people are just like, what was that smell? Like I don't know. I just I personally don't like to experience that. Like oh smelling it or being the one that people are like, she smells. Now that you're talking about that, yeah. I've encountered that at work before, where it's like you yeah. can tell somebody didn't shower you do you know that odor like it's a specific odor and my nose is very sensitive yeah like i can smell things <laughs> things she smells things i can smell things that are just not pleasant pleasant at all mm -hmm. and i've been there before where somebody passes by and you just smell like you just got out of your bed and it's just so disgusting and mm -hmm. i'm like how did you make it to work how mm -hmm. did you make it out here like nobody told you anything before you walked out and most likely nobody did but you didn't have enough sen sense of cleaningness that you want it to come out and start your day off fresh and start your day off smelling good to work it's it's base level to shower it's base bare level. minimum yeah, it's bare minimum especially because you know at work you're gonna be there for a few hours at the very least maybe even overtime you never fucking know and you're over there like you know not Smell doing anything disgusting yeah that's another that's another uh that's another like hygiene thing. I feel like with hygiene, we can go everywhere, right? Because we started with the toes. I started with the toes. <laughs> you started strong with I the toes. I started with the toes and then you started with the nails, which is nail clipping, right? And yeah. then we go to, okay, hair for us women. Yeah. Um, do you care to be hairy for yourself as um, a woman? I like to What's be. What's your opinion? I like to be neat. You know, okay. I like to be neat. Does that mean you shave your yeah, legs? Yeah, I and shave and your I armpits. take care of everything. Yeah. Okay. My armpits, though, like I got into the habit. I've it's been like three times that I've waxed them, and so to wax them, you have to grow them out a little bit mm -hmm. in order to wax them. And another thing, you guys, that has worked for me because um, in between my legs, when you have like chafing, and also. Um, because of my insulin resistance too, I started getting like darker pigmentation. Mm. And so it's very common and stuff. And I do have darker pigmentation in my armpits and stuff. So I started using the ordinary pH toners thing. And it's been working like my armpits. I haven't really noticed as much, but I have to stop right before I wax because um, <clears throat> it's it it could be like a chemical burn if i use it and then i wax mm -hmm. right on that skin but um right in between my legs where i was experiencing um the darkness it really helped a lot yeah that's good yeah so stuff like that i feel like it seems like something small but it could really help you feel better about yourself for sure okay yeah. i haven't i'm gonna go through the whole body y'all okay <laughs> okay go ahead so Okay, we talked about hair. Of course, you know, private areas, we keep it clean. However, whatever clean means to you, mm -hmm. right? Like, however you like it, shaved, not shaved, whatever. That's on you. But we move on forward to the one place where I think a lot of people forget. Do you know what I'm talking about? What are you talking about? The belly button. Oh, shit. The that's belly true. button. Have y'all? <laughs> it's the fact that you said that. Yeah, I haven't done shit to my belly button, girl. <laughs> Dude, so many people forget about the belly button. Have and you it's right ever, smack in the middle of your it's body right there yeah but it's like go in there yeah i've done see it I know. some th stuff it's, can come yeah, out if you really there. don't there's clean it there. like there's stuff in there yeah especially for those of us that have like the hole and it doesn't come out like the belly button i don't know what it's called there, i know there's a specific an term in or an it. audi i don't know yeah like 
that your belly button do not forget about it imagine oh, like good. that's true you have your boyfriend laying on your stomach ah! <laughs> <laughs> or you're and, and you're in cabo they're trying to take body uh, shots like, <laughs> imagine you have your boyfriend laying on your stomach and then he smells your belly button and that just smells disgusting or vice versa you're on your oh boyfriend's you know stomach and then you smell his belly button and it's like bro what the fuck what's been going on over here what what y'all been hell? up to Please take care of your belly button. Okay? Like, I just wanted to, like, put that out there. Okay, we continue up. Um, <laughs> let's talk ears. Ears. Ears are Just one get of up those, in there. It's not even about in here, like, you know, the wax that we have in our ears. I even... Behind like, the behind ears. Behind our ears. Yeah. Don't forget to clean behind your ears. Get, like, um, like a... What's that thing called? A scrub? A, a bath. Yeah, like... um. A body, a body towel. What is that thing called? I think I know what you're talking a about. Wash, like the a mesh. wash rag. A wash rag. Yeah. Yeah. And so, just get into all these crevices. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Now that you talk about that, that's another way that you can actually pass on infections to people. Because I remember having one in my bathroom and somebody went in there, an ex-partner of mine, and he would use the same one that I would oh, use. Oh, that's wrong, though. It's <sighs> supposed to be yours. I know. I know that. And that's another thing where it's like, I could just buy you one, bro. They're a dollar and 50 cents. Like, we Not, don't need to share this. That's something personal. It's like sharing a toothbrush, which I won't do. No, not I a won't toothbrush share is nasty a, too. I won't share a tongue scraper. Like, it's disgusting. Yeah. But ever since that happened i was like you know what i kind of don't want to even have one here because another thing that does happen is that even if you're just using it for yourself the molecules of you know whatever bacteria that's left in the bathroom se pegan a eso oh wow and that can actually also cause problems for yourself so i actually have a cousin who she can't even dry down there with a towel she has to literally like use the dryer because it'll cause her a yeast infection oh wow so sometimes you know some of us are more sensitive, sensitive than mm -hmm. others so i have found that you know you find other things to scrub with or you don't keep it for a long time or whatever yeah you gotta it switch is. it out for sure yeah but definitely like behind your ears mm -hmm. i feel like there's a lot of people like they'll take care of the ear part of it but they don't they forget about you know removing whatever x is down here mm -hmm. there or behind your and behind the, the neck ears. hit the neck too the, just shower correctly <laughs> bro like once a week do like a deep deep shower you know like just figure it out because it, it is rough out here um i feel like some of us weren't taught for sure as kids and you weren't taught growing maybe up you and didn't stuff. have so yeah that's that's hard you weren't taught maybe you didn't have parents maybe you didn't grow up with nobody to show you you know especially the men a lot of the times you don't have somebody to show you certain things and as women they do show us hygiene more than not because as women even as a feminine thing yeah you don't want to smell you don't want to do this and that yeah but you men also need that to be shown to you you yeah, know and it's, and important. it's important it makes you so much more attractive when you take care of yourself when you smell good when you look good when your skin is on point like when your lips are in chap like ooh, so juicy kissable like come on you know what i mean yeah like that's big there is so much to hygiene i feel mm -hmm. that we can get into and that's just the body right like that's just us but then our surroundings yeah i, I wrote down energetic hygiene yeah too. that too so what do you think about that so i wrote down energetic hygiene because there is times where we forget that we also have to take care of our body energetically not just like physically like scrub or whatever where it's like there's certain people that when you come around them, it's like there's like a dark cloud around their aura and they have a lot of negative things to say or negative energy to to kind of bring into a room. And so I feel like energetic hygiene is really limiting your contact with that type of energy mm -hmm. so that it doesn't 
you know, permeate and get into your energetic energy because then you're going to feel down and you're going to feel the negative um, thought patterns and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then also like when you are dating and this is kind of like different or whatever, but on TikTok or on Twitter, I don't know where I saw it, but they're like, what about the times where you've been like drinking with somebody or let's say smoking weed with somebody that you're talking to? And all of a sudden you see their face kind of switch up. Like you see like kind of like malice in their eyes. Y le ves como la malicia a la gente. And it's because that's like their shadow self um, showing themselves to you. Right. Which we all have a shadow. But there's people that have like bad intentions. Mm -hmm. And so when you're kind of like under the influence of like whatever alcohol whatever you're kind of a little bit more open to that energy like actually affecting you and you can see like people's true intentions sometimes you know because the veil is more thin right and so i feel like when you entertain those type of energies or like even are physical with people that energy can get transferred into your body and at that point you have to really cut that tie that you may have formed with that person because they're over there feeling down and you're over here feeling it too yeah i mean when it comes to energy if there is one thing you gotta do is be careful who you sleep with yeah that's because whoever you sleep with and whatever traumas whatever they're carrying in that moment in the years whatever they haven't healed from they are now yours yeah you are now carrying that yeah. and until you completely detach from these people whoo sheesh that shit will affect you, you. will be affected by that mm -hmm. you will carry that energy mm -hmm. and once you are intertwined with that energy from someone else that energy doesn't want to let go and it's so hard to because you're the Remove. you're basically the host at that point right yeah i mean it's given to you you know and you don't even need to get to a place where you're smoking or you're drinking with someone when you take care of your energy and if you are usually on a high vibration or on a neutral vibration you already kind of know when somebody means malice you, you already kind of, kind see, of it, huh? see it you already know when their aura is not clean you already know when they are shining dark lights like people sometimes don't even have to talk i just see your eyes and i already know everything that's happening everything yeah. that's going on like I've when you are an in intuitive person you can see that from others to the point where i don't even have to have you in front of me if i talk to you and i kind of already know how you move how you think like what you got going on and you say something a little bit different i can already tell something's wrong i can already tell like something is happening and we may not know exactly what it is but i can already tell your energy's off and something that is crazy is that like as humans or as people we could save so much time if we're just honest with each other right and so it's the dishonesty energy that really really shows like that really really shows up when you're talking to somebody and that energy itself is also like it, you might not have ill intent towards a person but that energy is going to present itself negatively to the person because you are not being honest about your intentions and so and you not being honest with your intentions that's already bad and so you try to kind of discern and again like you said sometimes you notice it off the bat right but sometimes we'll notice it like our intuition and then we'll just kind of like ignore it mm -hmm. right it's happened because sure. you you just want to like chill have a good time or like you want to entertain it for the moment right but sometimes entertaining it for the moment could cost you like a lot it can cost you months and years of releasing that trauma yeah because now it's yours to keep yeah so you true. definitely like the way to stay away from that is listen to your gut feelings and as soon as you get a gut feeling about someone that something may not be where it should be i guess or something is low vibrational then you just decide to remove yourself from that situation yeah. there's a lot of times where you get invited somewhere and 
you may want to go, but then you get a gut feeling like I shouldn't be there for whatever reason. And then something bad happens at that place. And then you're like, I'm glad that I listened to my gut feeling or you didn't, you went and something bad ends up happening to you. Yeah. And even like when you're kind of a little bit more into like the spiritual stuff and let's say you want to like cleanse yourself and, you know, do like a personal hygiene, like personal hygiene is taking care of yourself, cleaning yourself and like, you know, doing, you know what they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. Right. And then also like meditating and releasing and doing that type of energetic cleanse as well. So that hygiene is good for you because then you encounter other people that have good pers uh, like personal and spiritual hygiene and you guys recognize that within each other and then it's like okay this is a good connection because like you are healing your shit like i'm over here healing my shit i'm not on that low vibrational shit you're not on that low vibrational shit and i just i want that to be more common i want to be able to encounter those type of people more often because when you are trying to be like true to yourself and and do good for yourself it's way harder to find people to hang out with and stuff well it's harder because it takes work to clean your energy and to be different than yeah. the rest takes a lot of work and most people are not strong enough they don't want to or have a lot or of excuses they're not very disciplined so they rather just stay and keep doing whatever it is that they're doing because they're complacent so the thing about it is when you are not a complacent person and you want better for yourself and you want better for others, you need to meet and look for those people that are also trying to be better for themselves, better for others and who are disciplined. If there is one thing that I love and I'm attracted to is discipline. Oh, discipline yeah. is at the top of my characteristics for the attractiveness that i hey, feel save it though save that one for the next episode okay save that one for the next episode we'll just erase it then no 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 we could it's a, it's a it'll be a little cliffhanger <laughs> so discipline is on the list Woo, i forgot this what we were talking about on the yeah next we're, one. we're gonna talk about this on the next one because right now we're just talking about hygiene 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 base right. level <laughs> We're keeping it base level. <laughs> Clean up. <laughs> Clip your toes. Wash that ass. Wash that ass. <laughs> wash yourself right. Do wash behind your ears. Don't forget about your belly button. Don't forget the belly button. Woo. Sheesh. I was already going to get, I was already going to school y'all. No, 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 no. We're going on the next one. All right. Is there anything else with hygiene that we uh, haven't covered? I think we're good on the hygiene. Um, <laughs> if you guys have any tips down below, like, you know, that's always helpful. Yeah. Anything that you do um, for sure. If there's another thing for us women, do not go to sleep with your makeup on. Oh, never. Do not go to sleep with your makeup You'll on. Get a big I ass know, especially I've never gotten them. So I won't say that that that's going to be what happens to you. But I know it's hard when we go out and we're like on a good one and we come back from the club and we're so tired and like the only thing that we have the energy to do might be like to take our lashes off but do not go to sleep with your makeup on please don't remove it's not it. Worth it take the time even if you're drunk even if however it is that you're feeling take the time to remove your makeup because your skin will thank you yeah that's please true. like take care of your skin us Women and men, like, we need to take care of our skins. Your skin without makeup, when it looks all... Talking about skin, I have I have my... Uh, my... Facial. Facial tomorrow. Okay, Yay! I was going to ask you when it was. Yeah, you told me tomorrow. you had scheduled it's finally it. finally tomorrow. So, yes, take care of your skin. Get a facial every once in a while. Do something nice for yourself. Take care of you. Yes. Please, take care of you. Love on you. Take care of you. And clean you clean your ass <laughs> clean your butt clean your front clean <laughs> in between your toes clip your toes clip your nails floss everything tongue scrape brush your teeth oil pull like 
do just just do things y'all just do, do everything <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna leave this episode here then thank you so much for hanging out with us on another episode of las chicas del pod we are so excited to be here for you guys every tuesday at 10 a.m do not miss us if you haven't if you're new if you found us wherever you found us make sure you subscribe to us we are also on spotify and on apple podcast for those of you guys that just want to you know listen while you're on your walk or doing whatever it is that you're doing Thank yes. you guys so much. Bye. Until the next one. Bye.